Hello guys, my name is Awan. I like to run and I'm going to talk to you about how important is strength training for runners. So strength training can help you to uh, avoid injuries and help you to run fast and also mainly to help your body to adapt with the training load that you're putting in. Uh, this can be the mileage that you're putting in, the uh, speed training that you're putting in so that you can run better, you can improve your running economy. And oftentimes we think that strength training uh, is always involves uh, heavy machine lifting in the gym. Uh, but it doesn't have to be uh, that uh, difficult, all right? It doesn't have to be that complicated. You can actually do strength training by just using sangband uh, mini loops, all right? So today I'm gonna teach you how to use these uh, sangband mini loops to keep yourself strong and also run better. So sangband active has several type of product that helps you to do strength training. Uh, one of my favorite is mini loop. All right. So mini loop has different different type of types of weight. There's uh, orange, there's purple, and there's teal. I think for me these three are the uh, essential weights that I use for my training. So for low body strength, usually I will use uh, between purple or teal. All right. And for today, I'm gonna use purple. All right. The first exercise that I'm gonna demonstrate to you is lateral bend walk. This is one of my uh, favorite exercises that I would do usually before my uh, uh, strength training all right, uh, or before my race just to uh, activate my uh, gluteus maximus okay, or your butt. Okay? So one of the key for you to run fast is having a strong butt. So all of our exercises will be focusing on how to make your uh, butt strong, your hip all right, and your quads. Okay, so the first exercise is lateral bend and walk. So you're gonna squat down, put the band above your ankle, and make sure the band is having a little tension. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take a very little step, okay, while maintaining this tension to your left. You can do five steps, all right, according to your capability, and then you can do on the other side, five steps. One, two, three, four, five. And you can repeat this two to three times. For me, I would do two to three sets, all right, that will be enough for me. So the second exercise that we're gonna do is the donkey kick, all right? So this exercise will work on your hip as well, all right, and your butt. So you're gonna put it, okay, on your feet, just like that, and you're gonna stay flat on your back, and what you're gonna do, is you're just gonna extend one leg, all right, to the back. So make sure it's straight, all right? It doesn't go up, or it's not low. Right, you just maintain it straight and make sure your back is straight as well okay and then you can just yep do and repeat this movement for five or eight times according to your capability and then change to the other side okay you can do five to eight times and you can repeat that for two to three sets right the next exercise that we're going to do is banded clamshell this exercise really really focuses on your hips all right so what you're gonna do you're gonna put the band right above your knee you can support yourself all right and from here just gonna pull up your knee above but what you have to do is try not to initiate the movement from your knee but initiate the movement from your hips all right so only this part is turning so you just yeah you have to feel the burn right over this part okay yeah just lift it like that, okay? Don't use your leg, don't move your whole leg, but use your hips to turn, yeah? You can do this five to eight times, and then change side, okay? Same, again, make sure you turn from your hips, not your knee, okay? Yeah, feel it, yeah, I can feel it. And you can do this two to three sets each time, okay? All right, so the next exercise that we're gonna do is fire hydrant, all right? So for this, you're gonna be on the ground again, your, your hands spread, all right, spread your weight, flat back, all right? So now you're gonna do, what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your knee to the side. Yeah, so this will work on your hips again, all right? Make sure you turn it to the side, okay? So if you're, if you're not feeling this is challenging, what you can do, you can go a little bit wide side okay from here yeah you feel the burn and you have to change all right you can do five to uh, eight repetition for each leg and you can do two to three sets each side okay 
For the next exercise, we're gonna do bended hip flexor march. So, some of us are used to sit a lot, so this will make our hip flexor slightly weak. As a runner, you need to have a strong hip flexor to have this takeoff, good takeoff. All right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure to put the band on your feet. All right. So what you're gonna do is just gonna lift it up. Okay, and change. You can do uh, five to eight repetitions for each side. All right. So make sure you maintain that nice tension, just like that, and just lift it. Okay. Feel the uh, your muscle over here being stretched. All right. So this will really work on your hip flexor, and hopefully it will uh, improve your run. So those are the exercises that you can do at anywhere. All right by just using a mini loop. Do you know we can also do upper body exercises with this mini loop? I will show it to you in the next episode. Stay tuned.